Thank you for joining us to another Molly Coat webinar. The webinar today will be presented by Cassia Hagel. She's an application engineer for DuPont Molly Coat. We'll be going through Molly Coat pastes. Cassia, take it away. Before diving in, we will take a second to review fundamental concepts within tribology. Tribology itself is the study of friction and wear between moving interfaces. And this concept can be broken down into three separate friction regimes, um, including boundary friction, mixed friction, and hydrodynamic friction. Um, boundary friction would include um, slow moving, high load applications. In contrast, hydrodynamic friction encompasses fast moving, low load applications and mixed friction regimes would include a mix of both. Um, to choose the correct Molly Coat product for any given application, you can refer to the Molly Coat wheel um, on the right hand of the screen. We define an application by load, environment, temperature, and speed, and then choose a product according to the resulting friction regime. The function of a lubricant is to separate two contacting surfaces and as a result, reduce friction. The lubricant surface can also manage contamination, prevent rust and corrosion, as well as carry away heat and transmit power. And then to define the application, we follow the LETS acronym, um, which includes load, environment, temperature, and speed. And defining these parameters allows us to spec in the correct lubricant for any given application. And each parameter specifically can have a very profound impact upon the friction dynamics within a given application. This presentation will be focusing on Molly Coat paste. The paste is formulated with three constituent components, a solid lubricant, which is what is primarily acting as your lubricating component within the formulation, a carrier oil, and additional additives, which are selected based on performance needs. And the solid lubricant is what composes the majority of the formulation. And the carrier oil is um, the second greatest um, component within the formulation, typically less than 50% of the composition. And then additives are between one to 5% of the composition. So the lowest um, concentration within, within that given formulation. The solid lubricant being the majority of the composition lends a thick, almost grease-like texture to the overall material. And over time in a given friction regime, the carrier oil could eventually evaporate and uh, slowly wear away. And the solid lubricant is what's left to provide a strong lubricating film um, that is more generally more tacky in consistency um, between the surface interfaces. Often pastes are used as an anti-seize for threaded fasteners and threaded components. Additionally, paste can be used for the assembly and lubrication of applications with high loads and, and slow speeds. Our portfolio includes paste that can operate within a wide temperature range, um, ranging from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 1000. Additionally, many pastes can survive really harsh environments as they had been formulated to offer performance characteristics such as corrosion resistance, water washout resistance, and oxidation resistance. Paste itself, the formulation comprises of a carrier slash base oil, solid lubricant, and additives. And unlike greases, a paste does not contain a thickener system. The primary function of the paste is to apply a solid lubricant onto an interface in a very easy to use format. And the fundamental nature of a paste is such that once the carrier oil wears away, the solid lubricant is left to continue lubricating the interfacing surfaces. This is different than a grease formulation, for example, which uses the base oil as its primary lubricant. So for a grease, it's the base oil that's lubricating in a paste. It's the solid lubricant. Solid lubricants used within the paste formulation can include either um, molybdenum disulfide, graphite, PTFE, or white solids. The base oils used within the formulation can also range between mineral base oils to synthetic base oils, um, with synthetic base oils such as PAO, PAG, and PoE, those being used for more specialized high performance formulations. And as such, these more specialized synthetic base oils will typically add to the cost. Additives are a much smaller percentage of the overall formulation within the paste. And these are chosen based on very application specific needs in order to provide corrosion resistance, oxidation resistance, or attackifiers in order to allow the paste to really stay in place. So why choose a paste? A paste can be chosen for an application in order to provide water resistance, 
um, easy non-destructive disassembly of components, sealing properties, as well as aging resistance, while also providing a consistent coefficient of friction and wide operating service temperature ranges. Within our Molly Coat portfolio, we have a number of different pace for different applications identified by either thread and fastener pace, as well as assembly and dynamic application pace. Our thread and fastener pace are formulated for easy and non-destructive disassembly of components um, and are also formulated to operate under a very wide temperature range. Our newest addition to the PACE portfolio is P3700, which is ideal for the lubrication of threaded fasteners as it can operate on metal surfaces at extreme temperature ranges. And this PACE specifically has excellent anti-seize properties, even after exposure to temperatures up to 900 degrees Celsius. One of the primary benefits of the P3700 paste is that it significantly reduces hexavalent chromium formation um, when used on alloys and high chromium content materials at temperatures exceeding 300 degrees Celsius. The paste is also environmentally friendly and includes hazard-free labeling. Ultimately, a paste can be chosen to suit specific application needs uh, tailored to specific environmental conditions while controlling the coefficient of friction. Here we have a brief material selection guide. As you can see here, the combination of solid lubricants present in each formulation can have a profound impact on the resulting performance properties. Each specific solid lubricant lends a unique advantage to a given application, and it's the combination of multiple solid lubricants in each formulation that can offer combined benefits it's important to note that the sum of what each solid lubricant can do together is superior to what they can offer separately. You could refer to the Molly Code Selection Guides when choosing a lubricant for a specific application need. One common solid lubricant that's used in many formulations and one in which Molly Code is named after is molybdenum disulfide. And this solid lubricant specifically allows for operation under a very wide temperature range typically between negative 180 degrees Celsius to 450 degrees Celsius. Uh, this specific solid lubricant is also well suited for applications that operate under high loads. And this solid lubricant also provides great corrosion resistance against friction and resistance against harsh chemical environments. Molybdenum disulfide is also particularly well suited um, for environments that are primarily metal interfaces. Another common solid lubricant is graphite. This specific solid lubricant has very good temperature stability and great lubrication under humidity, as well as a low coefficient of friction under high loads and protects against fretting corrosion. It is good to note that this specific solid lubricant is better suited to plastic interfaces as it maintains relatively poor adhesion on metal. Polytetrafluoroethylene, or otherwise known as PTFE, is a colorless solid lubricant with low load carrying capacity and a low coefficient of friction at low speeds. This particular solid lubricant offers very good chemical resistance and also reduces sliding friction. White solid lubricants are a group of metal oxides, hydroxides, phosphates, and sulfides. White solids offer very good protection against fretting corrosion and are also suited to, temp uh, to applications that are at very high temperatures. The solid lubricant also promotes adhesion on various substrates. It should be noted that the formulation, that any formulation containing white solids, a carrier oil is typically required in order to reduce the um, friction between the interfaces because the white solid on its own is limited in its self-lubricating properties. Next, we'll take some time to discuss our application testing capabilities. The first test method we'll discuss is press fit testing. The purpose of this test is to measure the coefficient of friction of a product under extreme pressures combined with very low speeds. And we can do this by pressing an inner cylinder into an outer cylinder and measuring the friction force. Friction force is then used to extrapolate a value for the coefficient of friction. And then the value of this test um, is used to measure the coefficient of friction at and low speeds and extreme temperatures, thus replicating a stick slip phenomena. Another test we typically perform in lab is the four ball weld test. And this test really allows us to understand high pressure behaviors, a pace, and also test for the load carrying capacity of these pace. We could also test threaded connections at high temperatures by storing tightened threaded connections at a defined temperature cycle for up to four weeks. Afterwards, the opening torque is measured with a digital torque wrench. In conclusion, PACE can be used 
for a number of applications, including either thread and fastener applications as an anti-seize agent and for assembly and dynamic applications. Mollycoat pastes are formulated specifically for high performance applications and can withstand harsh environments. And these pastes work by creating and maintaining a lubricating layer despite extreme loads and temperatures.